Hey, Joey Blue here, and we're going to talk about the WHERE clause of the SQL language. So first off, I am working, going to work in the SQL Training Online Simple Database. So let me pull that up, and let's write a little SELECT statement. SELECT STAR FROM, and we're going to get it from the customer table. I'm going to drag that on there, execute. So here's the customer table. <coughs> now, the WHERE clause is how we filter data. So if we only want to get um, data where our customer company is Dell, we would type in the where clause. And we'd say where customer company equals D-E-L-L. -L. And so let's execute that. And now we've filtered it down to just the Dell customers. Now a couple things to note is since the customer company is holding a string, we have to put these ticks right here around it and so when we do that it turns in management studio it turns it red and so um, also notice that we first put in the column name and then we put equal and then we put the string now if we want everybody that's not equal to Dell we could do that also by putting the exclamation and then the equal to that means not equal if I execute that, I get all the other customers. Another way to do not equal is to do less than and greater than. And that is, gives us the same thing. Um, we can also put in other filters. There's a like clause. We can say like. And then if we just want customers that start with a J, we would do something like this, J percent. And so that means we want to start with J and then any number of characters after that. So let's execute that. And we didn't get the results that I was expecting. And that's because we're still doing customer company. Let me put in customer name. And so customer name like J percent. Execute that. And there's our two customers that start with J. There's a lot of different things you can do in the WHERE clause. Those are a few of the, uh, the more common ones, but you can also compare uh, less thans or greater thans. Um, you can do different types of date formatting, uh, many different things. So that's an introduction to the WHERE clause, and that's how you use it.